Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to divide a lungwort plant. So let's go. Lungwort, also known as pulmonaria, is hardy here where I live in New Hampshire, Zone 5B. There are a bunch of different varieties out there. Now, I'm not sure which variety I have. I received this from my mother-in-law's garden a number of years ago. And even though it was only a small piece, I have divided the plant a number of times around my yard. When the plant first emerges in the spring, you see the leaves come up, but then very soon after, you see the flower buds emerge. After the flower buds, the blooms come. They are so beautiful. It's hard to describe. It's a pinkish colored flower, but also along with that pink flower is a blue flower. And the plant blooms for a long time. Once the blooms fade, the leaves get larger and the spots on the leaves get darker. Now, one thing I've noticed about this plant is if you put it in a shady location, you're going to get darker spots in your leaves. The more sun you give the plant, the more likely that the plant is going to suffer a tiny bit. In other words, the spots on the leaves won't be as vibrant, but also the plant might get a little bit crispy on the edges. So make sure that you're giving it a little bit of shade and definitely give it plenty of water. This plant here has gotten very big. What I'd like to do is dig it up and I'm going to show you my process for dividing it. I also have a few places in my garden where I want to add this plant. So let's get digging. I'm just going to use a large shovel to dig the plant out. It is now late summer, early fall. It is a perfect time to be digging this plant out, dividing it and moving it. You can also divide and move your lungwort plant in the springtime but you wanna do it early enough because you want the plant to recover before it puts its energy into creating blossoms. I'm just gonna shake off as much of the dirt as I can right now, just to make it easier to show you how to divide the plant. You'll notice at the base, we have some leaves that don't look very good. Now's a great time to remove those. I'm just gonna use hand pruners to do that job. And if you find any leaves that are broken like this one here, you can remove those as well. There's a leaf that doesn't look very healthy, so I'm removing that as well. I'm gonna continue cleaning up this plant and then I'm gonna show you what's next. Now let's say you didn't wanna divide this whole entire plant. The other option for dividing a pulmonary plant is if you have it in the landscape, go ahead and only just dig up the part that you wanna divide. You would take something like the large shovel and you would slice right down through the center of it in the landscape and you would only pull out the section that you want. I chose to remove this whole piece because I wanted to remove it from that section of my garden. Down here are the roots. And what I wanna point out is any of the roots that are a lighter color, that are like a cream or a white color, are the newest roots. And those are good roots. Anything that's more of a brown color, those could be last year's roots. So just keep that in mind while we're dividing this plant. On this section here, notice there are leaves on the top. And if you follow it down, near the base, you'll see the nice colored roots that are the newest growth, and you want those. So as long as you have the leaves on the top and some roots at the bottom, that would be one division right there. I'm just following this down, and I'm gonna clip it right here. I wanna point out you have two sections here. You have one division that could be this one here, and you actually have another little baby division that could be there. It's really up to you. It's a personal preference on how much you wanna make your divisions but this is technically two plants here if you were to cut it right in the center there, just like this. It might be small, but that's okay. That's a plant, and this is another plant right here. Right here, we have another section that has some top growth, the leaves. You have some new growth that's coming in at the bottom here, and we have some roots. I can cut this right there. And that's just a close-up of what that looks like. You'll notice that I'm actually cutting these down pretty small. I can tell you, because I've done this for a number of years, that this plant will regenerate and grow very quickly. So I'm okay with cutting it down this small, but you don't have to do that. It's really, like I said, a matter of personal preference on how far you want to cut your plants down. And look how nice those roots look. Nice, healthy division right there. Now I just cut this off and I can see that I have technically two plants here. Let's try to pull those apart. And it was pretty easy to pull them apart at this point. I'm going to remove this piece because it doesn't look so good. 
I also want to point out that sometimes with lungwort, you have powdery mildew that happens. You can remove those leaves as well and just keep the leaves that look a little bit better. And when you do have powdery mildew, it's up to you. I don't like to add this to my compost pile. And I want to show you right here, the plant continues to send off new leaves. So as you pull off leaves that don't look good, don't worry about it because you will get new leaves that will push through. After I'm done dividing the rest of this, I'll let you know how many divisions we got out of that one plant. We turned that one plant into 12 small divisions, which is very good. And give it some time and all of these plants will turn into large plants themselves. I want to bring you in closer to this plant here and talk a little bit about it. Notice the color of the roots on it. Just like a lot of other perennials, pulmonaria benefits from being divided every three to five years. This was most likely the original plant and many of the roots on here are no longer good or viable. There's a piece right here that is probably okay, so I can pull that off. And these roots right here, since they look nice and light colored, may create a plant. I'm not quite sure, but I'll make sure I dig a hole and put this in the ground. And you can see with this piece right here, it has some nice fresh growth on it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove this off as well. And we can plant that in the ground just like that. And then there's a small section right here that may create something, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that off as well. And that's a little teeny tiny little piece, but we're gonna put that in the ground as well. And with what's remaining here, Personally, I would just not keep this, so I'm going to put this in my compost pile. When it comes to planting your lungwort, you want to make sure that the leaves are above soil level. The roots should be below soil level, and the base right here, that's called the crown. Make sure that the crown is above soil level as well. This hole is dry. I'm going to go ahead and add some water to it. Get those roots in there, and now I'm going to backfill. I had some mulch here, so I'm going to backfill the mulch. I'm going to push down and add a little bit more water. Like I said, I only started with a small thing of a plant, and over the last few years, I have divided that plant all around. In fact, you can see all of the lungwort right in this flower bed. All of these are going to be getting divided this year because I want to move this plant in other places of my yard. I love where it's at. I can leave a small plant here, but I can also take from it and move it around the yard. I have a lot of other videos that show you my process for dividing perennials. Now is a great time of year to do it, spring or fall time, depending on the plant. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss out on these type of videos. I'll also be sure to add a link to my playlist that shows you how to divide all the different plants I've divided so far in case you're interested in checking those out. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. And until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.